headlines. An Arima family is begging for the return of 22-year-old Andrea Barrett, whom they fear has been kidnapped. The Ministry of Health appeals to employers to encourage workers who may be experiencing flu-like symptoms to stay at home. And in sport, coach Terry Fennick urges his young troops to seize the opportunity and perform well against the United States in football friendly. An Arima family has urged has issued an urgent appeal to find 22-year-old Andrea Barrett, who went missing after entering a taxi near her workplace on Friday afternoon. The family says a person who answered her phone hours after her disappearance told her father that the woman's heirs would be cut and sent to them if money was not paid. They say since then there has been no further contact. Speaking with the media today, Barrett's father Randolph made an urgent plea for his daughter to be brought back home. According to reports, around 5.50 p.m. on Friday, Andrea boarded a white Nissan Versa along King Street Arima in the vicinity of Mirage Westside Supermarket in company with a female co-worker. The vehicle was said to be an H car. At the time, there were two other men in the vehicle, the driver and the front seat passenger. The co-worker was dropped off at her home located at Cleaver Heights, Arima. Around 6.05 p.m., her father attempted to call Andrea, but no one answered. At 7.30 p.m., upon trying again, a man answered and the threat was made. The police were immediately notified. The United States Embassy in Port of Spain has issued a travel advisory to its citizens, advising against travel to Trinidad and Tobago due to COVID-19 restrictions and the alleged threat of crime, terrorism and kidnapping. This is in accordance with a Level 3 travel health notice issued by the Centers for Disease Control. A Level 3 is an indication to reconsider travel, whereas a Level 4 is do not travel. The advisory reads travelers to Trinidad and Tobago may experience border border closures, airport closures, travel prohibitions, stay-at-home orders, business closures, and other emergency conditions due to COVID-19. It also states that there are a number of areas citizens should not visit due to the threat of crime, such as Laventil, Beetham, Sea Lots, Cocorite, and the interior of the Queen's Park Savannah in Port of Spain, as violent crimes such as murder, robbery, assault, sexual assault, and home invasion is common. The embassy also notes that gang activity such as narcotics trafficking is common while a significant portion of violent crime is gang related. The Ministry of Health is appealing to employers to accommodate employees who report any flu-like symptoms, bearing in mind that it could be COVID-19. This as contact tracing continues to reveal transmission at places of work. The call is being seconded by the Ministry of Labor, which is reminding employers of their obligation to secure the health of their employees. Renessa Cutting reports. An increase in cluster cases is being directly attributed to transmission within the home. But the link to transmission at the workplace is also quite clear. Those individuals would have spent time at work talking, relating to interacting with people less than six feet. Sometimes a mask might have been worn. Sometimes the, the social distance would have been breached. And so you found that we had just around those two individuals alone at work work, there were 15 contacts each for those persons. Um, in one case of those 15 contacts, at, at least seven other people became positive. And then you can, you can then multiply that because those people will then go home to their families. Irresponsible behavior at the workplace aside, the ministry says employers not accommodating their employees appears to be a major factor in COVID spreading at the workplace. We have we've been told many times that people are unwilling to go and test because they do not want to be quarantined because the business owner or the employers uh, are not willing to allow quarantining and if they quarantine they will lose their jobs and um, we've also had people who have been um, contacts of positive people who said to, to us the doc I cannot stay home for 14 days because I'm going to lose my job and so part of, of what we, we have to try and do as much as possible is to work as a Society to make sure all together we do our part. Contacted for comment, Labour Minister Stephen McClashey said such complaints have not reached his desk. No, we have not received any formal complaints about that. 
but let me add that the government's position and directive on that is quite clear. That if employees are in fact showing signs of illness, they ought not to be in the workplace. And I would be curious to know whether the complaints we are getting are from government agencies or private um, companies. The Minister makes reference to Section 4 of the National Policy Guidelines on preparing workplaces in TNT for COVID-19, which speaks to the expectations of an employer in treating with a suspected or confirmed case of COVID-19. The policy document says employers should develop appropriate leave provisions and consider covering the cost of the employee's salary for the 14-day quarantine period. Beyond that period, sick leave and NIS benefits benefits will apply. When an employee becomes sick, sick leave eligibility comes into effect. If sick leave is exhausted, however, extended sick leave may apply. However, the minister notes the ministry can only offer guidelines in respect to these matters. So there, is no punitive, there are no punitive measures um, associated with the, with the COVID-19 uh, rules and regulations outside of what the, the police service enforces with regards to not wearing masks and so on. But with regards to work and employee, um, there are no punitive measures to the worker or definitely not to the employer um, with regards to these issues. Renessa Cutting, TV6 News. Trinidad and Tobago is considering acquiring the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which is now being hailed as a potential game changer in dealing with COVID-19. Measures are also being put in place to ensure that persons with non-communicable diseases are among the first to be vaccinated. Renessa Cutting has the details in from the Ministry of Health's press conference. While vaccines like Pfizer have been shown to have over 90% efficacy, the Johnson & Johnson candidate garnered an 85% efficacy rating in preventing severe disease in a global phase 3 trial. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which could be used in this country if approved by the World Health Organization, is formulated with just part of the COVID-19 virus as opposed to a weakened state of the living virus. The virus protein is then combined with another virus that can enter but cannot replicate in human cells, which means you cannot be infected with the COVID-19 virus. Thus far, no deaths have been reported with this vaccine, and there's yet another upside to this candidate. It is a one-dose vaccine, which is, in terms of administration and getting persons to take it, is, is, it is a little more... Um, persons tend to be more compliant, so you don't have to come back in for a second time. So we are keeping an eye on it. We are possibly looking to have um, bilateral talks with them as well yeah, as the days and weeks pr proceed. And if it goes into the COVAX facility and is approved by RBHO, of course, we will, we will get it through the COVAX as well. According to the manufacturer, the vaccine has also shown protection against the new variants and can be stored in a regular refrigerator. But the chief medical officer says this country will only use vaccines approved by the WHO and whichever vaccine we receive will be distributed according to priority need. So with the first shipment estimated sometime in March, the ministry has begun putting frameworks in place. We have two strategies. So one, there's, as we speak, we have actually already received from NIPDEC the list of all persons who are on the CEDA program. There's upwards of 80,000 people. So we have that list. What we're trying to do is create a, pers a list, a master list, of all the persons that will, that will be eligible in the first phase of the vaccination drive. So we're looking at healthcare workers again, we're looking at persons with NCDs, we're looking at persons over 60. So we have written to the relevant ministries and regional health authorities that have that information to try to get it back as early as the end of next week. The vaccines will also be offered through NCD and walk-in clinics. Renessa Cutting, TV6 News. The Ministry of Health has reported nine new positive cases of COVID-19. These have come from samples taken during the period January 27th to January 29th and not over the past 24 hours. The Ministry says the death toll remains at 134. The latest 
latest fatality was reported one week ago on January 23rd. The number of total active positive cases now stands at 261. Still ahead in the TV6 Weekend News. The PDP in Tobago gets ready to head to court next week to seek a solution to THA election deadlock. Get two extra long cheeseburger combos or two American chicken sandwich combos for only $55. Only at Burger King. And we want to know why you use Diana Power Mints. Well, if I had a thing about it, I like to sing. And I do have anything that is clear your throat and your nostrils like Diana Power Mint. It keeps me right fresh. Full stop. Need to keep it fresh, food? fresh all the time. I sell it. So you take it too? I take it for now, right now, right now, right now. <laughs> it's good for when after using finish smoke and thing. Smoke every especially. <laughs> Power Mint by Diana. OCM Group is linking the Caribbean and facing the future. Our regional family now encompasses a range of industry-leading companies in their respective fields, including distribution and technology, flexible packaging and labeling, digital TV and internet services, and renewable energy. FlexiPack is the only producer of high-quality flexible packaging and plastic label solutions in TNT, providing local manufacturers with an alternative to foreign suppliers. With a facility equipped and supported by the world-leading Comexi Group, foreign technical expertise and locally-based production combined to give you the same high-quality packages and labels that you're used to. Green Dot has continued to expand its digital TV and broadband services to some of the most unserved and underserved parts of Trinidad by investing in a hybrid fiber and wireless network rather than a solely fiber-based infrastructure. Green Dot stands ready to serve the changing TV and internet needs of our population, providing cost-effective and terrain-relevant solutions to all sectors. Energen Technologies was one of the first companies in the region to offer renewable energy solutions. For homeowners in Barbados, this represented the opportunity to operate both on or off the national grid, while for businesses, an investment in solar farms, which supply the grid, amounted to a reliable and environmentally friendly source of electricity with a high return on investment. With Energen's continued expansion, the next decade promises to be one of explosive growth within the sector. As we continue to expand and diversify our portfolio, OCM maintains its vision of linking the Caribbean and facing the future. Make the best choice for price, quality, performance, and after-sale service with the expanded range of best appliances, including frost-free side-by-side refrigerators with water dispensers and French door refrigerators with electronic controls. Get premier features such as adjustable tempered glass shelves, humidity control, and more. All at a best price. You deserve unbeatable value for money, so get the best range of appliances. Available nationwide. Welcome back. The PDP is not afraid of fresh elections, but there is the need to fix the law first. Otherwise, Tobago runs the risk of repeating the 6-6 tie without a clear legal mechanism to treat with it. This from the PDP executive as the party is preparing to face the court on Monday. More from Elizabeth Williams. The PDP says the law does not provide a mechanism for the THA to have re-elections under the present circumstances and a resolution to the House is now impossible without a presiding officer to preside over such a motion and is heading to court next week in search of a solution. The party states that to trigger fresh elections, the national parliament would have to act, but that the PNM Tobago Council political leader Tracy Davidson Celestin's political Political leader Dr. Rowley is unwilling to do so. The PDP claims that the THA's standing order refers to the National Parliament's standing order, which authorizes the clerk of the House to draw lots. They say if there is a mechanism in law, why not use it? The PDP points out that just returning to the polls means that it is mathematically possible to come away with another tie. The party says 
says political leader Watson Duke and deputy political leader Fali Augustine have repeatedly called for dialogue between both sides and wants a united Tobago front in representing and negotiating with the two major parties in the national parliament for Tobago's autonomy. The PDP's legal team is preparing its brief to go to court on Monday morning to ask for an interpretation of the law and the procedures to be followed at this time. Elizabeth Williams, TV6 News. On Friday, the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service launched its very first ballistics laboratory at Camuto. The newly added department is a venture of the Ministry of National Security, which says it intends to use technology coupled with science to clamp down on illegal firearms and gun violence in the country. Acting Deputy Commissioner of Police McDonald Jacobs said a ballistics database will be created. Serial number extractions from the firearm, which will be entered into the ATF database for searching to first to get the origin or the last transaction as relates to those firearms. This department will allow the TTPS to ultimately progressively develop its ability to do ballistics more aggressively. Minister of National Security Stuart Young added that one of the benefits of the ballistics department is that it is scientific, making evidence easier to trace. He also had this message for those involved in crime. This is a warning to all of the criminals out there who like to walk around and use their illegal firearms. Today is a red letter day in the fight against that. 2021 has met most people with much anxiety, from those who have fallen ill with the COVID-19 virus to those who have lost their jobs and others still employed but with reduced incomes. And this comes amidst reports of hikes in food prices. While well, TV6's Sherlyn Ramsubag and senior cameraman Emmanuel Nunes visited the central market in Port of Spain to find out whether there has been an increase in the cost of basic food. Your market bill may be higher or lower than last year, but that depends on what you buy. Those were the findings after speaking to a few vendors who ply their trade in the central market in Port of Spain today. Prices of some of the produce which once commanded a high price such as ginger, beetroot and provision just to name a few are actually lower than last year. The reason for this is the supply outweighs the demand. One vegetable vendor said those who buy from local farmers have been able to keep their prices down. Another reason given for the drop in prices was suppliers are sourcing goods from other Caribbean islands due to border constraints in the United States. If you are into natural spices such as cinnamon, nutmeg, moby bark, etc., which are imported from other islands, you can expect a price hike from three to five dollars per pound. Vendors say that because vessels bringing in spices do not come in as frequent as they used to. For those of you who delight in saltfish, smoked herring and pigtail, look out. A price hike is coming your way, says this vendor. I sell saltfish, pigtail, cheese, smoked herring, all those sort of things. Um, one of the major things right now that is, that is killing us is the, the prices that it had to bring in for, um, the wholesale at, like Christmas going there, we pay 500 or so a bucket of pigtail. Now it's 675 and this week the, the other wholesaler tell us it's going to 700 dollars. Why? They say the importation of goods, one, it's coming, it's taking too long to come, and secondly, the prices of freight has gone up drastically. I think it's gone from 3500 to 8000 dollars. So with wise shopping, you can stay within your budget. The choice is yours. Shulan Ramsubag, TV6 News. Coming up in sport, coach Terry Fennick expecting stern tests from USA tomorrow for international friendly. And West Indies take the upper hand against Bangladesh 11 in warm-up match. Sport is up to the break. Since eating at KFC, John was appointed as the savings ambassador. a tabanka bucket with seven pieces of chicken and seven regular sides for only $99 and save like an expert at KFC. New 
year in New Vision at Seaview Optical. Get 60% off designer frames and 40% off lenses, up to 100% in discounts. Also, get complete designer frames with transitions and anti-reflective for $15.99. Seaview Optical, affordable eye care for everyone. From the freshness of the ocean, Rainbow has sealed in all the natural healthy goodness in their canned tuna, sardines and mackerel. So go ahead, enjoy some crispy sardines, stewed mackerel or a creamy tuna salad. Because while your tummy enjoys the great taste, your heart and immunity will love the healthy omega-3s, calcium, protein and more. Rainbow's canned tuna, sardines and mackerel are 100% real fish. So it's tasty, healthy eating for your body, heart and mind. Rainbow canned fish. Are you the owner of a hotel, guest house, or resort? Now is the time to showcase your staycation packages. With TV advertising, you get the benefit of special rates and the unparalleled reach that comes with a nationwide audience. We're dedicated to promoting businesses like yours during these times. So let us help you reach your target audience and make your hotel, guest house, or resort the staycation destination of choice. Take advantage of the special rates at your disposal. Call us today to find out what TV advertising can do for you. There's something for everyone in the Trinidad Express newspapers. I only think the voters should help the wood cushion the blow. Hey, Crunch with gum on virtually action or not. the time for preparation is over as coach Terry Fennick will lead the national football team in their first outing for 2021 tomorrow. Fennick says his focus has been on getting the team together as quickly as possible for the clash. He is standing by his belief that the players need to be tested with quality opposition ahead of the CONCACAF World Cup qualifiers. With just a few days' practice in Orlando, the national football team will be hoping to pull off a surprise when they play United States tomorrow. Coach Terry Fennick says he tried his best to get players working together after assembling them in a short time frame. Um, I've been delighted, Sean, because you know it's a fusion of players that haven't even met each other, seen each other before. We brought these guys from the United States that have got Trini parentage together with the locally based players that we brought up here. So it's been a um, the game plan has been to bring them together as quickly as possible. Fennec says that the U.S. team has had five to seven years development and he's expecting a stern test for the team, especially since preparation has not been ideal. Preparation is not really long enough, of course not, because we're playing against the United States of America, who have had five to seven years of development program, which is turning out brilliant. You look at the quality of the players that they're bringing through. But... Sean, these kids that we've got don't get experience unless you give them opportunities and that's what this is. It's a big opportunity for the locally based players. Playing in front of a crowd in a match that will be televised will be some of the reasons Fennec thinks that the players will benefit from this experience. We could have played Caribbean side, we could have gone to a smaller team. I want big focus because it's pressure, mental pressure for our players. I want them to have that experience, that knowledge that they've been in front of a crowd. There's four and a half thousand people coming. It's live on television. So there's a lot of things that some of our players haven't experienced yet. Apart from play, Fennec says he is satisfied with the treatment given by the U.S. team and the bubble experience in general. Sergio Dufour, TV6 Sport. Some of the players hoping to do well for the national team include Leland Archer and Jonathan Jimenez. Archer says he has been enjoying the short time with the team and is eager to carry out the coach's instructions. The preparation has been good so far. Um, coach just letting us know what he wants and how he wants things done. So, yeah, so far it's been good. Yeah, preparation has gone well so far. Just fine-tuning everything that coach wants for the game tomorrow. Meantime, Jimenez, who is a first-time call-up, believes it will be a maturing experience to play for the national team. Obviously, it's strange to see 
because, I mean, I was born here in America, but, you know, I mean, I was raised with the values of the Trinidad and Tobago culture. So for me, it's, it's really natural to be here with the team. It's a good environment for me. It uh, helps me grow as a player, not only, and as well as a man. Over to cricket, the West Indies team continues to get valuable experience in their warm-up match before the Test Series against Bangladesh that begins on the February, 20, February 2nd. After batting first and posting 257, West Indies bowlers dismiss the Bangladesh 11 for 160 runs on day two. Rakim Cornwall took five wickets. In reply, the Windies closed the day on 179 for five. Krumar Bonner is not out on 80. The Windies led by 276 runs going into the final day. Meantime, Bangladesh seems to be returning with a strong team in the Test Series as well. Shakib Al-Hassan has been named in Bangladesh's 18-man Test squad for the two-match series against the West Indies. Shakib had suffered a groin injury during the third ODI on January 25th and walked off the field without completing his fifth over. He returned to training on Saturday after a scan last week revealed no major damage. Shakib had already made a successful return to international cricket following his one-year ban by completing a player of the series performance against the West Indies in the ODIs. Over to European football. Well, Manchester City went three points clear at the top of the English Premier League standings today. They secured a 1-0 win against Sheffield United to climb to 44 points. Manchester United failed to close the gap as they were held to a goalless draw by Arsenal. Gabriel Jesus scored the winner from a close-range strike from a Ferran Torres cross for City. Guardiola's side have now kept five clean sheets in a row in the Premier League and an impressive 11 out of 13. The last team in England's top flight to register 12 consecutive wins in all competitions was Arsenal in 2007. Stay with us. Your weather forecast is up next. Get two extra long cheeseburger combos or two American chicken sandwich combos for only $55. Only at Burger King. Yeah, new vision at Seaview Optical. Get 60% off designer frames and 40% off lenses, up to 100% in discounts. Also, get complete designer frames with transitions and anti reflective for $15.99. Seaview Optical, affordable eye care for everyone. Hey, you! Yeah, you! To show you how big our dollar stretcher savings are, we hired the biggest voice we could find. Massey Stores presents the Dollar Stretcher. We stretch your hard-earned dollars to give you big savings and huge discounts on quality brands and more products for your money all month, every month. Really? See for yourself in the Massey Stores Dollar Stretcher. The best food, drinks, household items, and more are all on sale every week. Find out what new items are on sale and earn points for more savings with your loyalty card. Just pick up the Dollar Stretcher catalog, visit us online, check the Massey Stores mobile app, or look for the Dollar Stretcher price sign in store. Massey Stores is that's good. TV advertising can do more for your business.